Hey all you mentees, we're here at Chicago's C2E2 and we're ready for three days of fun-filled comic book buying and panel look, seeing. Look at me. <laughs> yes, fun-filled. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of interviewing um, of cosplayers, fans, different artists and creators who will probably be stalking as well. Stalking uh, the Maddie and I will be getting some pictures done with the Clueless cast, so stay tuned for those. And we're just really excited to be here and getting to see what we get to see. Um, Omar, what are you most excited to see today or this weekend? Chris Claremont. Final answer. And Chris Claremont. What about you, Maddie? Um, I'm really excited to see Terry Moore and Amy Chu and Babs Tar, and I'm so excited to just buy everything. That's awesome. Awesome. And I have also braided by everything. Clueless cast, Jason Aaron, Russ You're Dodderman. The Clueless cast? Yes. <laughs> Jonathan Hickman. Um, I'm excited to see what Marvel has as far as their announcements are concerned for their comics. So it's going to be a great weekend. Stay tuned, everyone, and we'll see y'all soon. So they are setting up at C2E2. The con starts tomorrow, but we got press passes, so we we're able to come in here and look at the exhibitors and look at some of the things. Not allowed to buy anything, but no. you know, it's just nice to have a little walkthrough here before it gets crazy tomorrow and Saturday. So uh, yeah, just a little walkthrough, a little preview of what's to come with Maddie, it's the back of her head, and Amanda, and my. Our grip grip boy, boy Elliot, thank you for your help. Some more of the behind the scenes. Maddie got a free cupcake somehow. <laughs> How does that happen? He looks like Jason Aaron. So he said all the variant comics that they're, oh my god. Oh, uh, I just saw figures. Sorry. Oh I got excited. Lord, I was like, who is this? So what's this? Does he sell just comics, individual issues, or is he selling like. Hey all you mentees, today is day one of the C2E2 convention here in Chicago, Illinois. We have the three of us here ready to go. We've already talked to a few artists, going to try to get some interviews today and let's see what happens. Yeah, so we're going to film people as they walk in and show you how crazy this is, is the first day when everybody comes in. So stay tuned guys. Thank you. Do you want me? Do you want us to do any walking and talking? Because I saw the Fox News guy sitting there like talking as he's like everyone's coming in. Uh, oh, like, no, that guy's a little too animated for YouTube. <laughs> I love that he, He's dude. more of a car salesman. You matter. That is oh. right. That's pretty. Okay, but where? So this is Diamond Select right here. This oh, is what they're. Yes, yeah, right there. Yeah. The worst Deadpool costume ever. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go down this way. Okay. Oh. Uh, like to the front? Yeah. What are you what are you wearing? So you forget. Also scared when I end up like impulse buying sideshow big kid. That's uh, my biggest my 
yesterday and it wasn't even open yet. If, you, so I don't know if you're going to impulse buy it. that, you got to wait till Sunday at least. Yeah. That's true. They don't want to haul that shit back Man, on Sunday. Plus, on Sunday, they usually, some of the places will knock the price down because they don't want to take it back home. Right. Really. Yeah, they don't want to take that Wonder Woman back home, buddy. <gasps> oh, he's only... I would love him. Yeah, I never was keen on the video game costume. I like the video game I don't like her face. That girl. I like that dark side, though. Which one? Or Supergirl? That girl. Oh, it's I can always good. tell by the... If, oh, the one I gave you was better. Split. See, if I come across another Batgirl one, I got that out of a vending machine on the thruway. <laughs> well, we, were, we would stop... That one was sitting half what I down there. Somebody had won it. But it never came all the way out. So they just left. So I reached in and pulled it out. Oh yeah, it's like right. I can find somebody who will reach this. Barbarian, no How are you all now buying the Alexandria or Sario well, Cortez? I want that, but I also want the hey, Alexander Hamilton. You know, it's really funny. After someone said Hamilton should be an anime in our comments, <laughs> I know it's not anime, but it's That's still That's all you animated. can think of. So there's Torpedo Comics with Gabe. So I didn't know Ed McGinnis was going to be here, or I would have picked up. I think sometimes when I think things go in one ear, not the other. What did you just say? <laughs> got 18 different badges on. Which one should I have? Okay, dude, you need to chill your tits. We have two badges on, okay? 18 badges! Nice. Alright, let's get, I want that Rachel Rising Omnibus. There's only so many right, things I want. Alright, let's go get it right now because I need that. Then I want him to sign it. Well, you might have to wait on that. Oh, he won't sign I'm it when he's there? Oh, well, because that seems like a very counterintuitive thing. Oh, wow, that seems like it, a big word to use at a comic convention. Counterintuitive. Clayton Crane. Love that dude's art. Seriously, you would love you it saw, too. You saw Neil Adams, right? This booth is over there. Yeah, he's Neil like, I've been interviewed with him before. It's $100 a signature. Well, he's old. Wow. And he's famous. I need some Are you gently this way? dressed I haven't seen any yet. for my thumbnail. I, I mean, yours is cute. Yours is cute. Yours is cute. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the. I'm telling all the, our friends. Omar <laughs> doesn't want to use me. He wants a scanty clad person. Well, you know, maybe if you're wearing a different shirt and jumping up and down, that might work. Neil Adams is here. I picked up another one of his things. Yeah. I've known Neil for years. I was just telling her how much he is. He's insane now. That's why I get the golden ticket, because then you know you're going to definitely get at least a decent deal out of it. How much is it? Buy it that? online, prepaid. Oh, How's it going, guys? Like glow in the dark. First step to take the world time. Hey. There's your Captain Marvel jacket. Look at those oh. gorgeous women. I think we're right out of oh. That jacket. Oh. You like it, don't you? Oh. Yes, I do. Good morning. Ooh, I'll come back with that. Oh, boy. She's so cute. Comic book mystery packs. Plus 10 comics. Okay. okay. There's there's CGC. Yeah. Look, you already got that signature. Dance Dan Slot. On your on your amazing 100 at the very end. Not even a real. And Umberto Ramos is here. Who drew it? Oh, I wish I I should have brought all those in case, and I would have had Art Germ signed with Fantastic Four. Oh, it's oh it's number. Oh my uh, gosh. Number five. That's cute. Okay, that's what I'm going to see a lot of this, this year. I a lot of Umbrella Academy. Yeah, guys, so if you find some Umbrella Academy guys, you've got to get them on film. Doctor Who Mystery Boxes. Nice! That's the to Toy Ink, right? These days? Yeah, those are, that's, a good, that's a good mystery box. Oh, that's on Instagram. I usually get a couple of Doctor Who Mystery Boxes, and then I break them up and give them to people. Say, hey, I'm sticking to you at the con. Here you go. Smart. All right, let's go ahead and get this done. Let's go get it all this time. Let's do it. Cosplay music video. What are y'all cosplaying as? Um, I'm the only one cosplaying. Yeah, she's cosplaying. Yeah, I couldn't get mine. Getting her picture signed by Martin Starr. Right. So, 
Okay, sounds good. Wait a minute. Here's a little shit. Oh, she's got a camera. I don't know if she's recording. I am. I've been recording this whole time. Sorry, you're good. I know of Red DMC. Oh no, you're fine. I the first sentence, God damn it. Oh! What else? There you go, why not? I think I had another convention here. <laughs> There's an actual, like, stuff going on. I haven't even been over here yet. Out that one? Yeah, Fox Senior. I do want to go to the T Turtles. Uh, well, we use, I, my husband's in the military, so I used his discount. But when we got here, we had I was in the military, and he's my, my military wife. I am. I do it every day. <laughs> As I'm speaking to you, I am lying. I figure the sacrifice, the sacrifice I go through for my husband to be in the military, I deserve discount rooms. He's in the guard, but it's still a, it's still a time commitment away. So, you and Maddie are like... Dan Didio walked right behind you, and I'm, as I'm interviewing Kyle Higgins, and I'm like, that's Dan Didio, the president of DC Comics. I know, I'm mad. The guy that brought like, Jeff Jones, and Jim uh, He said he's going to see us later. He's a really nice guy. He was a really cool dude. I'm glad he let us, like, he hang out. both of our channels. He followed both of our channels. We gained a subscriber. Oh, is he in the collected edition? They're gonna invite a bunch of statue collectors and they're gonna destroy <laughs> the beautiful community. Oh, our chapstick. Gaming, I guess. Like, we, tabletop. Uh, we're like right Looks like I we have some tabletop really gaming. Where are they coming? Yeah, they're coming. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm putting my little thing on, too. I'm ready to buy, Amanda. Me, too. Bye, bye, bye. There's the Wild Bill. That's what I want to get with that. The it's mugs? The mugs, yeah. Space mugs, mugs. Yeah, I mean, I don't want those that much. Oh, slow down? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was, I was teasing. I never knew if Bria is really yelling. Not Cali proof, because he's been he's been Yeah. Like our comic videos could get a couple thousand, but
So how many convin more conventions do you have this year? Uh, this year I think about three or four. Will you still be going to Dragon Con? Oh, I never miss Dragon Con. That's so, going to be on my list even after retirement. Well, happy retirement, sir. You've earned Thank it. You. seven years and it's kind of the, in some ways the beginning and the end of my Thor run. Um, like I've got a little bit left after this um, but this is kind of you know everything's been building towards this and this wraps up a lot of the big uh, storylines I've been dealing with for a long time so um, yeah I'm starting to think about something else I want to do next but um, I have some ideas but not that I want to talk about yet. <laughs> <laughs> But what would you, your, what would be your dream? Uh, well, I mean, I'm doing Conan right now. Which is yeah. Sweet. yeah. Uh, we did, we did talk about at one point if Conan should be in War of the Realms, but he's not. But you can read Conan in the pages of Conan the Barbarian, and that's a book I want to do since I was 12 years old. Literally, wow. which tells you a lot about me as a 12 year old. <laughs> So Amanda, how excited are you to meet the Clueless cast? I'm so excited. You have really? no idea. I think you're underplaying it. What about you? A little you? bit. I'm trying to see. I'm pretty excited. Hold it in. You should hold it in. I'm just excited to see Freck and Meyer. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but that red chick. Oh, the Babs. Uh, Barbara Gordon one's really good, too. They have a story with Johansson from Ghost in the Shell. I miss Marvel. Like, I think she's in um, Black Canary. Oh, yeah, I think Jess has that Black Canary. Joker's great. Is that Miss Marvel? I think with the... With the with sideshow, I think we'll like, they buy all of them, which is fine. But I think if you have one sideshow that could be like the hallmark of your whole collection, it can be really nice. Or like a prime statue of guts from Berserk? Yeah, it's cool. We'll be like diving. Detective! Foul along this side. I can't remember. Like,
whatever. more than that. you minties thank you so much for joining us on this awesome c2e2 
Weekend. Event, weekend, weekend. yeah, Whatever. weekend. We're um, obviously, we're exhausted. we're exhausted. It's been a long four days. We've got a lot of great interviews. We've got to meet a lot of great people. Um, Omar, what was your favorite part of this weekend? Chris, fucking Claremont. That was his grandfather now. What about you, Maddie? Oh my gosh, probably talking to the Benson sisters and also probably crying in front of Terry Moore. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> because she's talking about two people she or three people she loves and I think what about you? Um, I don't think it needs to be said but meeting the cast of Clueless because I also cried and I think I blurted out some things I shouldn't have anyways but thank you guys so much for joining us on our wonderful journey um, I hope you enjoyed this video and, and I'll be I'm sorry I'll be dropping the interviews as they come like a, a day or I don't know what the hell I'm saying go ahead yeah he'll be dropping the interviews as they come so stay tuned for those and remember everyone don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button follow us on all of our social media channels at at near mint con and remember if it's classy and cool it must be near mint peace out everyone hey all you minties and he nope <laughs> just quick enter yeah ready yep. let me get this damn backpack off Ready. All right. Huh. All right. So Ready? I'll probably mess up five times before we do this. They got the right idea. Yes. All right. We ready? All right. All right. Good. Okay. Good. All right. All right, all you minties. Oh, no. We good? Okay. Cartoon.